Let's go. I've got traction control turned on. Oh, and that all-wheel drive. Oh, and then we reel him in. Oh, we reel him in. The reason today is a big day is because if we come over to the car pass, we have two new cars unlocked. The Triumph, or we got the Koenigsegg Agera RS. The car that currently sits with the world record, 0 to 400, and back to 0 speed. That's what I wanted to check out today. It also holds the land speed record? It does? Did not know that. So what colors does- oh. It's just available in the- in this color. Well, okay then. What? What, what is that profile picture? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Alright, I guess I, I guess I'm gonna have to make my own paint job. So we're going bright baby blue. Oh, I like it. Oh my god, listen to this coding set. <laughs> Blow off valves for days. So it's the engine from the Koenigsegg one to one. Okay, well I can tell you it's pretty quick. It also doesn't want to go in a straight line. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's fast. It has like no grip. Oh, it can drift. Boys, maybe we should just maybe we should just drift it. Look at us go. This is a good drift car. I mean, it will be when you have over a thousand okay. Okay, when you have over a thousand horsepower, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty good drift car. I think that's pretty obvious. Here we go, onto the highway. Wait, what did that sign say? I think it said the north. Well, that's where we're going. It doesn't actually step out of line too much when you're gunning it in a straight line. Usually you're like, oh no! But, but this actually, I mean, it, it spun its wheels, but it wasn't insane. 230, 240, 250 miles an hour. Oh my god, we haven't even got to the downhill bit. Up to 7th gear, 260, 270, 274, 275, 277, 278, 279. That's got to be like the fastest stock car there is. No way. 279 miles an hour. What a beat. Look where we are. Boys, we, we were all the way down there like 20 seconds ago. Now we're all the way up here. Tomorrow, on Sunday, we are going to be doing a top speed test of all of the fastest cars in Forza Horizon 4. So, if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. But for right now, I want to keep playing around with this damn Koenigsegg. I want to see if we can hit 280 stock. Like, the, 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 the highway in Forza Horizon 4 just isn't straight enough. There's 230, 240. 250, up into 7th gear, 269, 270, come on, come on, get 280, get 280, 277, traffic is everywhere, 279, 280, 280, 280 popped up, 280 miles an hour, completely bone stock, I love this car already, okay, off to the festival we go, Let's see what we can do. That's 450 kilometers an hour. Yeah, it's pretty quick. All right, so upgrades. What's available? I would imagine we're not going to be able to touch the engine. No, we're not. We can't actually upgrade the engine at all. So we won't get more horsepower from it, but we can actually make it all-wheel drive and stuff, which turns this car into quite the beast. I mean, we'll be able to fix our speed with a little bit of gear ratios and stuff. It only adds like a hundred pounds as well. Tires? Oh, what? We can change the tire width or the tire the tire offset on a on a Hawaii. A, 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 how did I get Hawaira? Also, what? Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That's that's pretty cool. Good job, Forza. I like that a lot. Yeah, you can definitely see it doesn't fit like perfectly and you could definitely get away with with bringing those tire good job i like that are you serious this is not on race tire compound stock look the the ratings are already pretty good then you toss race tire compound you're getting basically tens across the board do we leave the carbon fiber rims or do we swap on my go-to for every oh our carbon fiber koenigsegg rims are, are lighter than any rims in the game so uh I guess for this, for the simple fact of performance, we're not going to change the rims. Oh, <laughs> drift suspension on a Koenigsegg one to- I meant a Gera. That is so dope. I'm going to leave the stock suspension on because drift suspension, or uh, drift suspension is just going to ruin it. Uh, we won't want a roll cage. That makes us heavier. Weight reduction we will toss on. 
And everyone's reminding me that I forgot to change the tire width. I'm sorry. This is a scary car. I can tune the arrow, which is already tuned for maximum amount of speed. I like you, Koenigsegg. Let's uh, extend those gear ratios a bit. See if we can get some extra miles an hour out of this. This might very well be the fastest car in Forza Horizon 4. All right. That engine, it, it like, it whined. We're all in the same car. I'm just saying this would be a lot of money on this road. Hey, Goche, uh, please like and subscribe. The joke that never gets old. It is just gonna go and keep going and keep going. 200 miles an hour already. Up into sixth gear at 250 miles an hour. There's 260. I take that back. That is 270. As we bump the wall, 276, 278, 279, 280, 281, 282. We go even faster. Come on, Koenigsegg. Come on, Koenigsegg. 283. And dead. Yeah, I think it's safe to say the Koenigsegg Agera. Pretty quick. I'm just saying, this car, if the, if the Forza stats worked properly, it would be a 10 across the entire board. Tell me in your Koenigsegg, okay? You're gonna be my slipstream. This is how we break land speed records. In a Koenigsegg Agera. Slipstreaming from another Koenigsegg Agera. Oh, it's slidey. Oh my god, the other one's right behind. There you go. We're in. We're in. 282. Coming down the hill. Little left. 283. Can I tuck myself in? I can. 284. 285. And dead. What an insane car. This is how we hit 290 miles an hour. Oh, he's sliding everywhere. Oh, that rear wheel drive. Yo, Liam, I can share you my tune if you want. Here we go. Three Koenigsegg Agera RSs. Is it gonna do it? I gotta slow down a bit. Here we go. Oh, man. Okay, so fire's going. He uh, what? What? <laughs> How did that happen? 285, 288, 290! We did 290! It popped up for a second! Holy shit! I, I don't know what just happened. I don't know where Firebroth Cargo just went. But somehow he was in front of me. And then he was behind me. And then I did 290 miles an hour. Koenigsegg Agera RS versus Bugatti Chiron. Whoa, look at the difference in PI for these two. So he, he has more horsepower. But he also has all-wheel drive. But... He weighs more than I do. I think this is actually going to be pretty close. My, the, the struggle here is going to be not spinning up those rear wheels in this Koenigsegg. We'll see if I can catch him up, though. Let's go. Oh, my God. These cars, they're so much of a handful. They're like, oh, even he's having trouble, and he's got all-wheel drive. That's saying something. Oh, I got the speed out of the corner. Oh, and a go for the overtake at a bad point. He's very heavy. You can see him struggling with that weight. Oh, and he plows it straight into a wall. What happened? Oh, and I plow it straight into a wall. Um, guy's problem. He broke down. Well, the Koenigsegg is victorious. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll put that first lap up to a practice lap, okay, boys? And in three, two, one, go! There you go. Okay. Yeah, the Veron's much quicker. Oh, the Veron? Uh, that's not a Veron. It's much quicker off the line than I am. And then I get my wheel spinning, and then I need to finally control the car, and then we can go. That is the problem with the Koenigsegg, is it does try to murder you every time you set off at full speed. It's such a handful, though. It just spins. Oh. I'm, I know I'm faster than he is. Zero to 400. This is when we're going. Oh, no. We, we, we closed in like crazy. Then we lost it. Bugatti's faster if you're a worse driver. If you're a good driver, Koenigsegg's faster. End of story. Done. There are parts of this. Ah, uh, you see? There are parts of this where I drive the Koenigsegg well. But then there's other parts where it tries to murder me. And then I'll lose everything. 
This stupid car. What's the horsepower on that? This is 1,300 horsepower all to the back tires. And worst of all, not even on race tires. That's the problem. If it was on race tires, handling, handling the thing wouldn't be that bad. But it's just, it, it just does this too much. Too much is spinning. Fire, you know how we're gonna end this? We're gonna come all the way down here, drag strip, quarter mile. Probably gonna be the cheer on because I'm just gonna spin my wheels. But we are on a drag strip with more grip. That's the thing. Like I was saying, he's got more power, but he's also heavier. But he's got all wheel drive to compensate. It's gonna be all the way over there. Let's go. I've got traction control turned on. Oh, and that all wheel drive. Oh, and then we reel him in. Oh, we reel him in. Oh, it went slow, my the What? <laughs> oh, he won by 0.1 seconds. Oh my god, the the VTEC kicked in hard. So the Bugatti takes it, that all-wheel drive, just a tiny bit too fast. Anything else, the Koenigsegg sweeps the floor. You think the Chiron is a quick car, and it is. But then you drive a Koenigsegg Agera RS and it's just like, it's in a goddamn other league.